analysis for Fury apps. So let's assume you know you you are on S4 HANA 1909 or 2020, and you are going to upgrade to a higher release. So if you are if you have already implemented SAP, you know the Fury Fury apps in the lower versions uh, like 1909 or 2020, and then you want to see or know if there will be any impact when you upgrade to a higher version like S4 HANA 2023. What are the Fury apps that are that will still be available for you? If there are any implemented Fury apps that you have today that may have been deprecated or have become obsolete, or if uh, any successor app has been uh, developed or recommended for any of the apps that you have implemented. So to do the impact analysis, one, you need to have the list of Fury apps that you have implemented in the lower versions, like 2020 or 1909. After that, once you have that list, you take that list and save that list as a .csv file. So I have a sample list of Fury apps from S4HANA 2020, and I'm going to save this as a CSV file, like a tab delimited file. Okay. This is the Fury Apps 2020. Okay, I'm going to save it as a CSV file. So to do the impact analysis of your Fury Apps from 2020, you go to Fury Apps library, reference library page, <laughs> and there you'll see a new report that was implemented. You know, uh, what do you call? provided a few months ago uh, called Run SAP Fury Upgrade Impact Analysis. Click on this button. The only one more thing to know here is you need to have a S user ID to do this. So I have logged in with my SAP ID that I was given. Uh, and that's why we can get to the screen. Otherwise, when you first click on this, Run SAP Fury Upgrade Impact Analysis button. You will be, you'll be asked to log in. Now, because I'm already logged in, I don't got, I don't get that the login button. And in this first field, file name, you pick up the .csv file where you have your uh, apps list, and then you get the name for your. for the report that you are generating. Okay, give a name, whatever name you want, and then say upload. Once it uploads, once the report is run, On top, you'll see some tabs, and it will give you list of the apps or, or status of your current apps. So for example, the list that we provided out of that list, 13 apps are not available in S4HANA 2023 FPS01. Two of those apps that you have shared, you uploaded, have a successor app, meaning you can think of removing those apps and implementing these in, in to replace them. Spotify apps are still available for you. And out of the list that was shared, 
none of the apps were deprecated, which means all your current apps are available to you. I mean, are there, but out of which, let's say 13 are unavailable, unavailable now and may have been deprecated or made obsolete. Okay, and two, you all you have as a success, success app. You can now download this, that list, and then the next step I would guess in your case would be to go and talk to your functional teams and tell them, and look at the roles that these apps are there in, and then discuss with the functional teams as to what would you know what should you should be doing uh, for updating the roles or what the functional team would have to do to retrain or look at the successor apps for example the functionality that those apps provide then decide what to do with apps that are unavailable or have been made obsolete or have been deprecated okay so this is a feature that you know that you should uh, use if you're upgrading uh, from an already implemented Fury uh, 2 version to a higher version. If it is a new, you know, upgrade, on a, you know, that you're doing where you're okay. moving from ECC to S4 HANA, maybe you're from moving from ECC to, let's say, S4 HANA 2023, where in ECC you may not have implemented Fury, then you don't have to do this, in which case, you can use this. Get SAP Fury Apps Recommendations Report to see what apps you can implement from when you move from ECC to S4 HANA. But if you are already on S4 HANA and whatever version, 1809 or 1909, 2020, whatever, and if you are upgrading, then you should use this report for doing the fury related impact analysis.